sun's out, guns out. On today's episode, we're going to be working our arms and shoulders. But it's not only just to have that sculpted arm. We are doing this for stability, for posture, and of course, for greater range of motion. So you're going to be needing a small pair of uh, dumbbells for this workout. Make sure that you use ones for your level of fitness. Let's get started with the warm up. We are going to be doing some arm circles forward first, nice and wide. Here we go. 15 seconds forward, 15 seconds back. You really want to open up that chest and those shoulders because we're going to be working them hard today. And rotate the other way. Nice and wide. Keep it going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, get a nice staggered stance here. You're going to have your hands out in front of you and you're going to pivot from side to side with dynamic T's. Here we go. Pivot and back going to open up the torso as well as the shoulders and arms. Keep them nice and straight. You can pivot your feet. You can keep them planted. Just really move the torso. A couple more. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going into windmill arms. Opposite hand to opposite toe. Here we go. And down and up. Switch sides. Make sure those arms stay nice and wide. And back up. Down and up. Keep it going. Want to get that heart rate up. We're going to go right into circuit number one in just a few minutes. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Get that arm up there. Three, two, and one. We're going to finish things off with standard jumping jacks. Make sure your weights are out of the way. In three, two, and 130 seconds, full range of motion. As you can see here, not only working my legs, not only getting my heart rate up, but those arms and the shoulders are opening up as well. 50 more seconds before we get to circuit number one. Here we go, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, moving right into our arms and shoulders workout. This is more of a strength training workout today versus cardio. It's gonna work isolation for both the anterior delts, the uh, rear delts, as well as your biceps and your triceps. We're gonna get started with dumbbell uh, Arnold presses. So make sure you pick up your weights, the appropriate weight. You're gonna start facing inwards, palms towards your body, rotate upwards and press overhead and back down. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You guys ready? In three, two, one, up overhead. Really focus on the concentric and eccentric motions, which means up and down, slow and controlled. Here we go. Halfway there. Make sure you're curling in only at the end. Nice and strong overhead. Five seconds, two, and one. That one was working your shoulders. We're gonna go into our isometric curl. You're gonna have both of your arms and your palms facing forward. One of your arms is at a 90 degree angle and you're gonna hold it in this position while the other one curls up. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds per arm. You guys ready? Three, two, one, curl up. Now, if you want a little extra intensity, you can rotate your arm outwards once you get up top to really isolate that bicep. If you have more than one set of weights, you can always increase or decrease your weights. Just make sure you're doing it very safely. A few more seconds. Two and one. Okay, now don't stop. Put this at a 90 degree angle and we're going right into the other side. Here we go. 20 seconds. Feel that pump. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. Really isolate the bicep. Three, two, and one. We're gonna move on to our triceps, which are the backs of our arms. You're actually gonna put down one weight, keep the other one. We're gonna put it overhead, nice and strong. What you're gonna be doing is bending at the elbow only, back behind your head, very slow and controlled, 
and bring it back up. We're doing one arm at a time. Make sure that you focus so that you don't hit your head. In three, two, one, bring it down, and back up. As you can see, my arm is not rotating at all. It is just the elbow that is bending. Nice and controlled. You wanna get a nice horseshoe shape for your triceps. That is the ultimate goal. Last three seconds, two, and one. We're gonna switch it up here. I'm gonna rotate to the side so you can see how it looks. Nice and tall, three, two, one. Bending down, straight back up. Here we go. Only 30 seconds. Make sure that it fully extends overhead afterwards. There we go. Seven seconds to go. Fight through it. Starting to burn. Three, two, and last one. Good job, guys. We're gonna finish off with a shoulder exercise again. This one's a little bit more advanced, so I want you to really make sure that you use a weight that's appropriate for you. If you're finding weights are too hard, you can also do this um, just with your body weight. So pick up the weights. It's called front to side raises. What we're gonna do is lift our arms straight out in front of us, bring directly to the side, back down again, and then bring it to the side, to the front, and down. All right, everybody, we're gonna get started. In three, two, one, up front, to the side, nice and controlled, and back down again. Really rotating that cuff of the shoulder. Keep going. Really focusing hard on making sure you're lifting all the way up. Couple more seconds to go. Last one. Three, two, and one. All right, that's the, the first circuit. We're gonna take you through circuit number two. Make sure you shake off those arms, get your sip of water, and we'll be right back. Are you feeling the burn? Because my arms are already pumped up. We're gonna go right into circuit number two, starting with a dumbbell snatch. You're gonna use one of the dumbbells and we're gonna do both arms. So here we go. I'm gonna show this first before we get started. It is called a power snatch. You're gonna have your hand right in between your legs. Then you're gonna snatch it up, straight overhead and back down. Really slow and controlled, making sure that you get the full range of motion. So we're gonna start with one side, for 20 seconds and the other side follows right afterwards. You guys ready? Three, two, one, let's do it. This one's a little bit more explosive. You can use your legs if you need to. We're working our shoulders hard today. Last 10 seconds. I like to put my hand behind me so I'm really focusing all my energy on this one arm, but you can put it out if you need it for balance. Three, two, and one. All right, shake it off. We're switching sides. We're gonna start here in three seconds. Three, two, one. Nice and tall overhead. 20 seconds of this. Keep going. As you see, I'm going into a little squat. You don't have to do as big of a hop. Really depends on how heavy the weight is. Eight more seconds. Last five, three, two, and one. Moving on, we're going into our biceps again. This one is called a Zotman curl. Grab both hands, both hand weights, I should say. We're gonna bring them palms out in front of you into a curl. Rotate so palms are out and slowly bring them down. This works also the brachy, which is underneath the bicep of the arm. So we're gonna get started with those. 30 seconds on the clock, three, two, one, curl up, rotate, push down. Keep going, nice fluid motion. We don't want any pauses in between. Rotate up, squeeze, push down. Up and down. A few more seconds to go. I know it's burning. Three, two, one, okay. Shake up those shoulders. We're going right into our tricep kickbacks. 
Now we're gonna have both of our hands. I'm gonna show you from the side position. Slightly bent over, your bum pushing back. Make sure that your elbows are glued to your sides and you're just going to be bending at the elbows and extending backwards to work the triceps. Just like this. All right, we're doing this for 30 seconds, both arms at the same time. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, extend back. Here we go. This one really burns depending on the weight that you have. You got this. The triceps are one of the longest muscles in the arms, and we really want to make sure that the full arm is strengthened. Couple more. Three, two, one. Okay, we're almost done. Circuit number two, we have two more exercises. The first one is a shoulder exercise called a lateral raise. It's my favorite. I don't know about you guys. What you're gonna do is have your palms facing one another in front of your body. Slowly bend your body over just like you were doing with your tricep kickbacks. And what you're gonna do is raise your arms directly to the side so that your elbows are at a 90 degree angle and back down again. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, really working that shoulder cuff. Here we go, three, two, one, and up. You wanna keep a slight bend in your arms. Really push through it. It's a good burn, this one. Almost there, 10 seconds left. Here we go. Three, two, and one. We're finishing off strong, guys, with our hammer curls. Again, both of these nice and strong in both hands. Hammer curls, just what you think they look like. Uh, you're gonna be hammering up and down. So they're gonna be directly up and a slow motion back down again. Repeating this, squeezing at the top and back down. Let's get started. In three, two, one. Here we go. Hammer up, back down slowly. Up and down. So we've gone through almost both circuits. We will be doing this again. We're teaching you all these new movements that you can do on your own, in the comfort of your own home. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Last seven. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, a well-deserved break. Put these down, grab a sip of water. We're doing all of that, circuit one and two, right after the break. Now that you've taken a short break, we're gonna do circuit number one and number two consecutively, back to back, no stopping. This is gonna really kill those shoulders and arms. Let's get started with our Arnold Dumbbell Press. Pick up those weights, palms facing your body. No stopping now in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Let's do it, really pump it out. This is your time to be explosive. You know the movements now, don't stop. 20 seconds goes by in a heartbeat. You'll feel great after this workout, I'm telling you. Eight seconds to go. That's it. Keep pushing. Three, two, and one. Moving on right away to our isometric curl. One of your arms at 90 degree angle. The other one is going to be curling up in three, two, one. Let's do it. Up and down. Really squeeze every contraction. You can rotate outwards. If you want to work the bicep a little bit harder, keep going. 20 seconds, only 10 left. You're going to feel this one burn as well. Three, two, one. Don't stop. Hold this right away. We're getting going. Here we go. One. Keep it up. Let's see how these guys are doing over here. Good job, Crystal. Look at Fatty. All right, we have a few more seconds here. And three, two, one. We're going right into our uh, overhead extension. So put down the weight. The other one is coming straight overhead. Remember, it's just bending at the elbows. Three, two, one. Bend back, straight up. Oh, this one burns. It's a good feeling. Keep it going. More than halfway there. Three, two, one. Okay, other side. Let's get it straight overhead. 
And let's go. Looking good, Crystal. Keep it up. Nice bend of tension. We're almost there. A few more seconds. In three, two, one. All right, you're gonna bring these back up to center. We're doing our last shoulder exercise of circuit one. Front raises to side raises. I know this one's tough, but power through it. Let's go. Three, two, one. Raise to the front, to the side. We're only doing 20 seconds, so really do it explosive. As many as you can. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Power through it. Oh yeah. Three, two, and one. All right, shake that one off. I know that one hurt. We're gonna go back into our dumbbell snatches right away. Put a weight down. The other one is firmly in your hand. A little bit of a dip. Hand number one in three, two, one. Get that up there. 20 seconds. Keep breathing. You're almost there. Doing a little hop this time. Keep it going. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Switch sides right away, no stopping. And let's go. All the way up across the body. You wanna snap your arm only at the end. And back, slow and controlled, on the way down. Three, two, last one. Couple more exercises to go. We have our Zotman curls. Pick up both weights, palms facing outwards. Three, two, one, up, rotate outwards, slowly bring it down. Rotate, up, and slow contractions down. Let's see how these guys are doing. Fight through it, keep pushing. Fatty opted for the heavier weights. I don't know how he's feeling. Keep it going, 10 more seconds. Last five, push through. Two, one. All right, tricep kickbacks, then two more exercises. And I promise, I promise we're almost there. Everybody, get into your stance. Make sure you're bent over, back is flat, elbows glued to your side. Let's do it. Extend back, 20 seconds. Full extension. Feels good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep going. Last few seconds. Two, one. All right, guys, two more exercises to go and then you're finished. We're gonna do our lateral raises again, my favorite. Bring those palms together in front of your body, a slight bend, use your knees if you need to, and straight out to the side in three, two, one. Let's do it. You have a mirror in front of you. See how your arms are working. It's fascinating to find out all the muscle groups and how they function. <sighs> Only five more seconds. Make it count. Two and one. All right. Last but not least, our hammer curls before I take you through a nice cool down and really stretch out those muscles. Here we go. Remember, hammering up, hammering down, slow and controlled. In three, two, one. Here we go. Up. And down, up, and down. All right, let's get our heart rate down a little bit. No more fast motions. Still squeeze as you go. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, put those weights down. Congratulations, you finished your killer arms workout. I know it was hard, but we're gonna stretch you out right away. We're gonna go into our tricep stretch. So bring your arm overhead, bend as you did before, bring the other hand and push down, really stretching out the side of your arm. We're going to hold this here. A few more seconds. You want to allow the stretch to really breathe through. All right, arms overhead, switch sides, push down nice and deep. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna have our hands clasped behind our back. Chest up, bend forward at the hips. Now bring your arms completely overhead as much as you can. Depending on your range of motion, it may be a little or a lot. 
This is gonna open up your chest and your shoulders. Keep it going, you guys. Good range of motion. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, you guys come on up. We're gonna do a good shoulder stretch here. So bring one arm across, bring the other one and hook it over. The rotator cuff is gonna be stretched out and elongated. Feels nice. A few more seconds of this. Three, two, one. All right, come on over the other side. Feels good. Sun is still shining out here. Hopefully you can get out and show off the pump that you got from this amazing workout. We have one last one to stretch out those biceps. Clasp your hands in front of you. Reach to the sky. Look up if you want to. Really elongate and push up as high as you can. I like to reflect on how much effort I put into this workout. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, congratulations, you guys. You finished this workout and the cool down. Get out there and show off your guns and tune in next week for Warrior Workout. <laughs>